What is going on to you? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. Today's little video, man, is about our new power washer here. So this is my old setup right here, the Green Works 2000 PSI. What is it? 1.2 gallons per minute. And it was an okay unit. You know, I lasted a whopping three years. I thought it would last a little longer than that. But, you know, I'm not surprised. It's electric. Things go bad eventually. Um, it had its weird kinks and weird uh, quirks throughout the... Uh, three years of ownership but nothing really to complain about I, I do wish i would have stepped up and got you know a slightly stronger model not that i really need it but it just would be nice to have that extra headroom had i wanted to do like some you know some serious power wash but you know all i use it for is cleaning my damn car so this is the old model like i said i came out here the other day just turned it on and uh just just stopped working it just stopped didn't work so out with the old and in with the new Got ourselves one of these here Power Rights 3800Rs. There's a couple of different models, but as you can guess from the name, the 3800 is how many uh, PSI is good for. So 3800, so slightly more than the outgoing unit. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys watched me put it together. It's not too crazy. I was a little confused when I opened the package up and there was only three screws for screwing all the attachments on. I'm like, this is a lot of uh, plastic to attach to this damn power washer with only three screws but these two right here they literally just slide onto the side this one here and the wand holder right here they literally just slide right on to the power washer no screws necessary but these three right here 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 and here i think this is the uh where is it the bottle holder should be something like this yep there you go should look something like that i don't know what the hell these are i'm not gonna lie to you uh some other accessory holders, some cable holders. I think they're for the cables. No, that's for the cable. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell those are for. <laughs> Anywho, um, but yeah, that's what it looks like with the, uh, the, uh, the the supply bottle. So everything you see with it, this is my personal one that I've been using. Everything you see here is what it comes with. It comes with four different, um, four different degree attachments for the nozzles. The spray bottle, as you can see, the supply spray bottle, and it comes with a nice little handle right here for you to roll up your water hose. Doesn't come with one for the power cable, which I thought was weird, but whatever. Not too, not too crazy, but uh, yeah. So you saw me put it together, like I said, not too crazy, but I was about to get very, very irritated had I not found that third, the, the fourth bolt. And the fourth one, it was actually stuck in this holder right here somewhere, like up in there or something. I don't know where it was, but it was like in there. So I was about to get a little upset, but you know, it came through. It, it just shook out on its own. So I was like, oh, okay, we're good to go. So everything's secure. Everything's on there. Uh, so let's fire it up and go for a test drive. The red eye is somewhat clean. So I took it out once this week, but as you can see, it's not really... Not really much going on there, so not really dirty. So we're going to test it out on the old Malibu. Got uh, plenty of dirt going on here, so it should be a good test for it. And we got a few stains in the driveway from the Malibu, actually. A couple of oil stains. There they go. Yeah, so we're going to test it out on that as well, see how well she does. So let's fire this thing up and see how it goes it. And clear. So here's the power button. I already knew that. Uh, the instructions are it seems pretty self-explanatory. So here's the power button. You just turn that on to turn it on. But I came down here and I saw this down here and I saw off. I'll show you guys. It says off right there and on to the left. So I hit on and when you hit on, slide it over, I'm thinking, okay, that's gonna let the water come through. It's gonna turn on the water, let the water co come through to the motor. No on just pops the freaking holes out i don't that seems bass backwards shouldn't this direction be off if you're going to take the holes off that's what that should be for right and i sat there and played with it just to make sure i wasn't crazy and it's definitely off if you turn it on it pops the holes off i don't i don't know maybe that's an oversight i don't know what the hell that was but anywho it's off now and the hose is back plugged in the water is now on so let's just turn the motor on let's see what happens there we go sounds like we got pressure well i'm going to test it out by itself just to see what the pressure is like and all that jazz then we're going to play around with my old foam cannon and their foam cannon so with their foam cannon there's actually a connection point right here at the halfway point you need to break the, the extension off and, or it disconnects you need to disconnect the extension here and the foam cannon goes right into theirs for for their foam cannon but with my foam cannon because it doesn't have this style connection on the end has the you know the old style though the standard style that everything else uses so it's going to get plugged in to the extension 
down here so it won't go into the short part which you know i was kind of hoping for because you know with the extension up there it gets kind of you know tiring having to hold the damn extension way out there with a heavy ass foam bottle on the end but you know you man up and you just make do what it do but uh maybe theirs works out good and theirs is actually a decent foam cannon and not like a foam gun like i think it is but it seems like it's going to be a foam gun where it just plops soap all over it doesn't really give me that nice thick foamy consistency that i really like from my cannon so we're gonna try them both out and see what works and who knows it might be it might actually surprise me it might be worth a damn so let's give it a go first up we're gonna try it. let's just try with the um the 40 degree the 40 degree <laughs> okay seems to do just fine all right so uh, take it out gotta press in pull out put this back where it goes and let's try the foam cannon out with being able to twist it that it was going to change how much foam comes out but it just changes the direction vertical twist to the left horizontal all right so it's pretty much a foam gun just like i thought it was going to be it's not you know that nice thick consistency i'm gonna show you guys see how it looks let's try it again Yeah, it's just a foam gun, not a cannon. So it just plops soap onto the car. So, I mean, it's cool. I'll probably use this next time over, over my foam cannon because the Malibu, it's the Malibu. And I got to run all of this out of here anyway. So, or I can just empty it into my cannon, uh, I mean. So let's give the cannon a go. That's that nice thick consistency I'm looking for right there. See how nice and foamy it looks coming out over there? That's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Nice and foamy coming off. That's what we're looking for. So I'm probably going to stick with uh, my cannon for now. Like the gun is cool, but I, I just like the consistency of the foam better. Right. So let's go ahead and get this thing rinsed off and then let's try playing around with the driveway some. Alrighty, Malibu nice and cleaned up, not, or nice and rinsed off, not really a real wash like I said, but you know, she looks um, she looks a lot better than she just did, so let's get into the driveway, let's play around here, I don't really have too much craziness going on, you know, we got some fresh oil from the Malibu that quickly, you know what I mean, and a little bit of old stuff that she left out here, let me step out of the way, let me see it. a little bit of that old stuff down there, so let's play around with it, let's see how it goes it. Gonna swap to the, let's try the zero out, man. The zero degree nozzle. See how that one does. Obviously this one's gonna be more for pinpoint stuff, so not really like the sweeping motion. But after that right away.
these old ones. Right? Oh, yeah. That's good. Out of there. I think we can get this one. Most of it's gone. Let's try this one here. This dark spot right here. Yeah. Right, these are some stubborn spots. These were the spots that the uh, the old washer couldn't get off, and this was over three years ago. Yeah, another one gone. All right, so uh, this one's definitely a little stronger than the old one, one hundred percent. It's not just you know some advertised horsepower BS, but this one's definitely got some kick to it. So now that we finished playing around with the car and we finished playing around with the driveway. Look at how nice, nice and clean it looks. Looks real good. So let's go over the pros of this here power washer. The Power Right 3800. So it comes with a roller for the hose, which I think is weird because it seems like this long ass power cable needs to have a roller. That thing is super long compared to the hose, which is super short, it seems like. Um, usually I can leave the power washer, the old one, I can leave it right here at the edge of the driveway and I can walk down both sides of the car and reach the front walk down the left side reach the front but this one i left it right here just like i do this one and i walked over to the right side which would be the shortest distance and i couldn't even reach the front of the car completely so um the hose is definitely a little shorter so that would maybe if you guys could change that maybe for future iterations but you know not too big of a gripe you know it's long enough you just you know pick it up and move it i guess but it would be nice you know leave it where it is and you know just walk around the car but it is a light enough unit so that's one bonus it has over this one is how much lighter it is compared to this one so you could easily just pick it up and move it but like i said just alleviate that step and leave it in one spot you maybe you know you're jobbing you don't feel like you know running back and forth picking up the unit moving it around so a, a longer hose would be nicer but you know not too big of a gripe um the other thing with it being a lighter and smaller package is how easily it tips over as i was going to the front of the car um i literally just doing 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 you know what i usually do with this one and it just tipped right over which it doesn't stop anything it doesn't hurt anything but you know units constantly tipping over maybe you can instantly uh accidentally you know break something if it tips over just the right direction or you know bend a hose or something um so it would be nicer if it wasn't so easy to tip maybe just a wider base or something like this one over here um that might help it out i don't know but uh it is very top heavy compared to the other one but like i said it it's kind of a trade-off, right? Like it is smaller, it is lighter, it's more compact, easier to store compared to this one, which is bigger, bulkier, and all that stuff. So it's probably going to be more prone to tipping. It's going to have less area or less um, hose to deal with and all that jazz, you know, to keep it nice and compact for the storage and all that stuff. But um, I guess it's a trade-off you have to deal with, but it just would be nicer, at least for a slightly longer hose, even if you don't upgrade and make it a bigger package or whatever, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with it. It does seem like a good unit. It does come with nice um, attachments and everything. It comes with four different nozzles, 0 degree, 15, 25, and 40. And you come around back, and it has its own little water. Uh, it comes with its own little foam gun. It's not a foam cannon. That's a foam cannon. This is a foam gun, so it kind of just, like, throws the soap, I guess, it, it not doesn't really, you know, it ha doesn't have a nice even spread the same way that the uh, cannon does. But if you don't have a cannon or a gun, then this would be another bonus. I'm picking this one up because it comes with a gun already. It's not a separate uh, purchase. It literally comes with it. It just plugs right on up. You just fill it up with soap, you know, and go out there and start washing cars. But I prefer my cannon, so I'm going to stick with that one. Um, What else? One, the other gripe that I have, and you probably saw me complain about it early in the video, was how this says on and this says off. So if you push it on, I'm going to show you guys here. Actually, no, I don't want to get sprayed with water because the water is, is running right now. But if you if you switch this little switch right here, if you switch it to on, it pops the hose out. So that's a little backwards. I don't know why that's a thing. It will make a lot more sense if you just move on to over here and, you know, off to over here it just it, that just makes sense because if you turn it on it pops this hose out and then water starts shooting everywhere if you have the water running so i don't know why it's on and off it seems like um obviously now i know not to turn it on and it won't shoot water everywhere but it just makes sense if you're trying to remove the hose you would turn it off 
for off holes off i don't know that just makes sense to me but whatever it's simple you know there's something to learn but uh maybe for future r d or or the the future of power right maybe you make your future units and all that stuff you can you know make that small little update just just some little feedback you know nothing crazy other than that, it seems like a solid unit. It's definitely stronger and more powerful than this one. You guys saw me go out there in the driveway, play with some old swatches that this one actually couldn't get up, and this one just blasted them right away. So it's definitely a stronger unit, 3,800 versus 2,000. Flows slightly more gallons per minute. It's, this one's only 1.2. I think this one's like 2 point something. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but it's definitely a stronger, uh, better unit. It's lighter. It's easier, more compact. So, uh yeah, I got nothing to complain about. I'm happy with this purchase, and I'm looking forward to more car washing with it because that's really all I use it for. But uh, it is nice having that extra you no know, power if I wanted to use it for some actual power washing, maybe power wash the house, maybe clean some windows or something like that. So it is nice having that extra power if I wanted to do those things, which this one didn't have. I mean, you probably could have got away with it. Like I said, it has that little nozzle over for fence cleaning, but this one has just a little more power, got a little more grunt to it. So... It seems like this one's going to be just fine, other than the short hose. But, like I said, minor complaints. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really got for you guys. I'll put the link for it down in the description. You guys can go check it out if you want. But uh, that's all I got for you guys, man. It's your first time stopping by. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you guys get a notification when these videos go up. So, go to the Instagram channel. It's low, three, six, six, slow, all one word. I'll put it down in the description. Until next time, two of you, I'm out. Peace.